Hey guys, welcome back to another video. It is Wednesday, October 2nd, 2024. I am in the car. I'm fixing, fixing to head to Walmart. I'm on the mission for a deal. So um, I'm looking for, sorry for the music. I'm looking for an Ozark Trail Ridge V2. I know they have them at my store. I know they have new ones, meaning like nobody's bought them and returned them. You guys, welcome back. It is now 3.20. I am back from Walmart. Um, I was unable to get a deal on the broken Ozark Trail Ridge. Um, there was really nobody around to help and I didn't want to spend all day there and um, typically, you know, they only gonna offer you about 10% off. So I have had my eye on the Ozark Trail for a while, since the first gen, then the second gen. Um, so I've been interested in it just because of the, the value at 398 um, and what you get. So I ended up pulling the trigger. I got the Ozark Trail Ridge. This is the gen two. So this is the Gen 2, um, the way that you can tell if you've got Gen 1 or Gen 2, there's a couple different, um, different, a uh, couple of differences. Um, one of them being uh, the derailleur, so you get an Acolyte derailleur, and I think this is a 9-speed, um, let me see here, <clears throat> and I'm pretty sure this is a cassette. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So that's a nine speed and it is a 42 tooth. So it's probably 11 to 42. I don't know the exact specs. There's a lot of videos on this bike, so I'm pretty late to the game. Um, but it's fall. We're gonna be riding around a little bit more, um, specifically with the kids in the neighborhood and at the park and stuff like that. And sometimes I feel silly on my other bikes. So the Roscoe 9, it's way too much bike for just putting around the neighborhood. Um, the Ozark Trail gravel bike, it's just a little awkward because it's so fast. Um, I just want to cruise around with the kids. Um, and then, you know, the riding position being hunched over. Something a little bit different um, to ride around with those guys on. So I ended up getting a new one. Basically, you know, one that hasn't been returned. So this one is in fine shape. There's a couple of marks on the frame, not a big deal. I'm not too concerned with the cosmetics of it because this is going to be kind of a beater bike. Um, use it for commute, uh, not commuting, but um, just hanging around the neighborhood, riding up and down the street with the kids um, when the weather is nice out here. So like today, it's going to be only like 72. So it's a good day to ride bikes. Um, going back to where I was kind of talking about, I kind of got off track there. But the Acolyte clutch derailleur on this one, there's a way to disable it. You gotta put an Allen key in there. Um, so I'll mess with that in a little bit. Um, also, there's not a front sprocket um, chain ring guard on the front. I don't know if that's a true narrow wide or not. I've seen different opinions on it. It looks like a narrow wide. You can tell there it is a narrow wide. This has got a sealed cartridge uh, bottom bracket, so a little bit on the heavy side, but I'm gonna just run with it for now. Um, and then you also get internal and external options for cable routing. So if your frame has these little tie down points for cable routing on the external, on the down tube, that indicates that it's also a Gen 2. Um, another difference, uh, I believe you get micro shift up front for the uh, shifter, so an advent shifter there. So this one has the thumb and index option, which is really great. I like this. I wish the advent X came with this, but it's a thumb thumb. Um, so this is going to be staying on. The, the drivetrain will probably be just staying on. And um, another uh, indicator that you got Gen 2 is you got the new tires with the Kenda branding on them. I'm not sure if Kenda branded tires come on the first gen, but um, they definitely don't have the yellow Kenda logo on there. You're probably getting the same fork, the uh, Suntour XC230. Um, probably an okay fork. This is um, 
you know, it's a branded fork, but it's still a coil fork. It's going to be a little bit on the heavy side. Um, you're getting that tapered head tube. You're getting standard parts, um, you know, 31.8. You get a seat post uh, with diameter 31, 30.9. I don't remember. It's a little, it's, it's pretty chunky. Um, I don't know if it says on there or not. We'll pull that out, put some grease on it, potentially cut it down a little bit too um, to get it to uh, slam down all the way if we want it to. I do have um, some Shimano MT200s that I'll throw on here, and I will be doing those internally um, just because if you've got internal cable routing, use it because it looks so sweet, and it's not that hard to, uh, to deal with. The biggest challenge will probably be coming through the chain stays. <laughs> so it looks like it's almost fully internal routed. Um, and another indication, you'll get uh, 160 in the back and 180 in the front for the rotor size. These brakes, they're mechanical. The, the JAKs that you get on the Walmart bikes, they're not the best, they're pretty terrible. Um, we're gonna see how they do um, here in a little bit. But, um, you know, you've got internal routing for a dropper post as well if you want to go that route. These rims are probably not tubeless compatible. Um, the, the tire's probably not tubeless either. Um, you probably have about 100 mils of travel on that fork. Maybe. Um, we can measure that out in a little bit as well. But this is the small frame size. You can see there. Ozark Trail, small gray, blah, blah, blah. Production date uh, looks like April 2024. So, not one of the newest ones because the newest ones have that M.2 or something up here. Um, they actually say Ridge M.2 or something on the top. So I don't have that version. Um, comes with these lock-on grips. I'll be changing those out. These are kind of kind of terrible. They're thin. I like a fat grip. Um, Probably be changing the pedals out, but we're going to kind of ride it as is for now. Use it as um, an opportunity to maybe take it out on the trails and see how it does in the stock form. I'm sure it'll do great. Um, be an opportunity for some underbiking, which I like to do. That's it for this one. We'll keep you posted and uh, look forward to what this will become. This will be my fall project uh, for 2024 winter. 2024 and into 2025 and we'll see where it goes um i do have ideas i won't share those here but more to come thanks for watching see you on the next one